today is the day this truck leaves. I'm glad to. The guy is supposed to be driving the tractor in today and he's going to pick up his truck and you'll see what the tractor is like I hope in this video. Um, now I did the calculations I still do not have $200 into this whole job on this truck. Not counting my, my labor. I didn't work at it steady. A few hours here and there. Um, I think the most I spent on it was maybe four hours and one day steady. That's what we're left with. After all that. Now I spent another $85 on it today. Because I rebuilt the power steering pitman arm shaft. I put a new seal kit in it. That was 85 bucks alone. Now he's going to worry about the fuel spout and the mud flaps. There's the tail lights I put on. He's going to have to do something with a license plate light probably. The one on his truck was just so beat up on his uh, truck box I couldn't salvage it. I was hoping it would be the one that went on the bumper, but it's not. But anyway, that's my around $200 paint and body job slash uh, truck box, tail lights, and pitman arm shaft seal rebuild kit. So, uh, less than 200 bucks for that whole job. And if you guys look back at my older video, you'll see how rough it was when I first started on it. I had the pinstripe laying around and the paint, well, that's only about $16 for a small container to do this. Anyway, I'm going to get some gas in it for him. It's pretty low. He shall be in shortly with the tractor. He said he was on his way a while ago. So we'll see. He's got to come a few miles with it. So we'll see what the tractor looks like. Well, the truck just left, and that's my little tractor I got. I don't know how good the battery is in it. We had to boost it down there. I'll see. I'm guessing I'm going to have to boost it here as well. I don't think it's going to start. Oh, he uh, idled her down. approval on the on the tractor here she's out trying her out here she's got in second gear low range she's just testing her out I think I need to put a little bit of air in the front tires everything seems to work good on it three-point hitch work the loader works good on it the brakes work good on it it is gas now this is a Massey Harris slash Ferguson 50. So for a few years Massey Ferguson and Massey Harris 50 were the exact same tractor. Now she's going to find reverse here. I think she got it third. Yeah, she got it third here. She'll figure it out. That's first. I need to grease the front end up, it's a little stiff to steer. I think that if I could find a nice set, a nice rototiller I mean for the back of it, that would do good in the garden with a, with a rototiller on the back. Even Heather could operate the rototiller on it. 
just has a drip bucket in the front. It's on there, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Maybe later on I'll put a real loader on it. So far, counting our time working on that truck, which we didn't work steady on it. We've only got about $200 into the tractor, not counting my time. for the wet lines on the side too. Three point hitch works good. Tires look pretty good on it. It sat for two years from what I understand.